So what was your second scene like? Because you said it sounds like that was pretty awful. It was just like some guy in a hotel room with like a GoPro. And I'm like, this doesn't feel like a scene. Were you booked with an, did an agency put you on that booking? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And it's like, I know people who are comfortable doing scenes for like, you know, smaller companies or like people who basically just have like clip stores. Uh, Like I have the rule for myself now. Like I'm not going to shoot with somebody who's the like producer, director, and also the talent, Mm -hmm. unless it's somebody I know personally. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm shooting for somebody that I've worked with before and that's how it's set up, like, we talked about him shooting with Kieran. Yeah, I was going to say, Kieran, uh, Kieran was the first yeah. person who came to mind who like, is like, does a film that, that. Roles, but he's, he's professional. super legit. Yeah. He has a reputation. He lets you pick his cologne. Wow. Did, yeah. Have you, you've worked with him <laughs> yes, before, I right? Have. Does he still do that? <laughs> well, he smelled good. I don't remember. It was a little while ago. Every time I've shot you with him, pick it. which Ooh. isn't, isn't terribly often because he's like, he's mm-hmm. his own, but he usually takes a shower right before the scene. He does, and he which I appreciate. Out, he comes up with a selection of the cologne <laughs> for the lady, mm-hmm. and he lets you choose. Yeah. If he doesn't do that for you when you shoot with him, you I'll should, be like, so call mad. Him on it. You should be like, like, "Where's my selection of cologne?" I'm just gonna walk off. Like I can't do this now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's extremely professional, yeah. and uh, you know, even the interaction that I have with him on Twitter of like him booking me, like the first time or this, like it's very professional. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of these people who hit you up on just like my email, I'm like, you are not professional. Like, I'm not here to try to date you. Um, mm-hmm. Like, this is a weird vibe, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, if you're not somebody established in the industry, like, I'm just, I'm not going to. I don't need to be put in that, like, weird power dynamic of, like, okay, we're here to make a scene, but I also have to fuck you, but you're in charge of this scene. Is it mattering if I, like, sexually pleasure you enough? Am I not going to get booked? Like, how does this work? Like, yeah. so for me, like, just in my own head, like, even if those people would be safe to work with, like, I'm just, I don't need yeah that right now no. no that makes sense yeah. it makes sense that there's some like separation between the producer and the talent and that yeah because there's... it's like if you have a problem with the talent and he's also the how producer, do i let them know you can't really go to the producer yeah. or the director and be like uh mm. this guy's dick smells like there's... like his dick is gross yeah. he's fucking my service like what yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. what do you do right <laughs> bunny i've actually honestly always wanted to ask you to come on um I we've shot have we we've only shot together that one time for Naughty America, but that was so funny. So <laughs> it was the real estate thing, yes. and you were selling a house. I was. And with was it Stewart? Sterling. Sterling. Yeah. Wow. I think I call I've called him Stewart before. This week, so he really <laughs> didn't like that. Sorry. So goes. I, it's actually been a long time since I've shot um, him or a lot of boy girl. But anyways, um, so Bunny was a real estate agent, mm-hmm. and so. You know, and it was supposed to be like kind of humorous, but the great thing was is that she carried on the conversation about the real estate during the scene. And so like Sterling's like fucking her and she'd be like, and look at the vaulted ceilings. And <laughs> like to me, I was laughing the entire time. And I, I do feel like at some point Sterling was like, Stop talking about the fucking house. But I thought it was <laughs> so funny. I was like, keep talking about the house. This I was great. like, as uncomfortable as I can make it for him, that's my goal. That like, you did a great Every job. time I shoot with male talent, I'm like, as uncomfortable as I can make you, like, please. 